we get a small pad of Stonehenge Aqua Hot Press, which is kind of cool that like when I finally decide to send Art Snack some of my money again, I get and this is kind of a poor demonstration. So I pretty much just took the paint from the cap. That's not really how watercolors work. That's a lot thicker than um, most watercolor artists would work. So I'll grab a dropper and just use my Ink Essentials craft mat as a bit of a palette. And this is the hot press watercolor paper. So the thing, there's several differences between hot press and cold press and the surface texture is not the only one. Dry. Um, so my thoughts on the Connoisseur Protégé is like most synthetics, it is fairly stiff bristled. It doesn't hold a lot of water. It doesn't hold a lot of paint. It's very quick to release water and paint directly onto the paper surface. Something I am noticing is this hot press is picking up a bit of a texture as it absorbs the water. And I guess that's happening because it absorbs the water sort of unevenly. Mm -hmm. 